Hey guys, it's Richie. I just got to EU Drag Race at Bangkok Drag Avenue. Let's go take a look at all the cars that are here. Check out this Mercedes C43 AMG. Sounds awesome. I love the yellow color on it. Got a couple E36s. These are pretty nice. Check out this E30. This thing's rad. It's got to be on air ride that low, right? I like the louvers on it and the little spoiler. Let's take a look at this Volvo. This thing's pretty nice. What is this? A Volvo V40 T5. That's pretty cool. I think this is what replaced the C30, but it's quite a bit bigger. Let's take a look at this 535D. You can see all the soot on the back of it, since this is a diesel. I don't know if uh, BMW diesel tuning is a big thing here. It's really big with like the Isuzu pickups. Check out this purple 3 Series. This thing looks awesome. It's got like, it's got a front mount. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the pipe there. It's got Brembo brakes on it. <laughs> I don't know, it looks <laughs> very close clearance on that wheel. Oh, this Mercedes is nice. Oh, I love the plaid interior. That's really cool. So clean. There's someone just burning shit on the other side of the fence. That's great. Oh, look at this Civic. This is awesome. Look how big that turbo is. Crazy. It's all titanium piping. It's pretty cool. The SA200 seems pretty cool. Is that a separate brake caliper? Is that like a parking brake? What is that for? Pretty weird. I do like the bright green calipers though. Pops really well with the black wheels. Here we go. Here's a Lamborghini. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if this guy's gonna go down the drag strip. It's got some carbon fiber rear diffuser in the engine lid. That's pretty awesome. Look at the engine in this thing. That looks so ridiculous. What is that, a V12? That's a Mercedes V12. That's super cool. Here's an Audi S3 two-door. We didn't get these in the US. We only got the, the four-door ones. That looks super cool. I would have rather had that than my Golf. Here's another Audi TT. Looks really nice in red. Like the spoiler on it. That looks pretty cool. It's a GTR. We got some models. Take a look at this. Whoa. This is awesome. We got all these cars on display at the end of the strip. This is awesome. Let's see if I get in trouble for being over here. <laughs> 
This thing is fucking awesome. I love this Jägermeister car with the wide body. We got the ambulance here. Somehow not on T37s. What the hell? So it's not as big of an event as some of the other ones that I've been at over here. But there's a lot of really cool cars. Let's try walking down the line and see who's lining up to race down the strip. Oh, this is sweet. There's a lot of BMWs and a lot of Mercedes. Oh, here's a Mini. John Cooper works. This is cool. <laughs> Oh, we got a whole bunch of minis. 69, 69. Oh, this, this might be the one that I saw the other day. <laughs> this is awesome. This wide body E30. Big intercooler on the front. Let's go take a look at this yellow BMW. This thing is ridiculous. It's got widened steelies. It's got the big fender flares. I like the louvers on it. And then he's got the diffuser with the twin exhaust going on. That's awesome. Oh, this thing sounds nice. Here's a nice clean Civic hatch. What is this? Civic Type R? This looks super nice. Volk racing wheels. Uh, what are those? T37s? Yeah, that's cool. That uh, C30 is cool. Like the wheels on it. Oh, this yellow C63 AMG looks pretty cool. They call the little carbon fiber bits on it. Spoiler. Whoa, an Audi RS4. This is awesome. I like the matte color on it. These wheels look pretty cool too. It's got carbon fiber mirror covers. And it's a wagon. That's pretty red. Look at this. Is this a 5 Series? This thing is super clean. Oh, look at this TT. That's a cool color. Got another Golf over here. Oh, that carbon fiber intake is pretty cool. I haven't seen one like that, but I'm not not really into the Volkswagen scene anymore. Oh, look at these Mercedes cars. This one is rad. It's got the Recaros. Is this an Evo? Ah, oh, it's debadged. I don't know. It looks like, kind of like one of those Evo... What is this? A W123 or 124? Looks super nice. I'm gonna try walking down to the end of the track, or at least down over here somewhere, and see if we can get a good view of what's going on. It's kind of different than some of the other events that I've been at here. Like, it's a lot quieter. There's not a ton of cars going this way. It's just when they're coming back. Oh, I see the, the Huracan back there. Maybe he's coming this way too. Oh. Nope. I think the Huracan's gonna go line up to take a run down the strip. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a Mark III Golf. I wonder if he had a problem. See, the Mark III's are more of like the era that I was in the Volkswagens. One, two, three, and four. Because I had one of each. Got all the garages.
back here. I don't know if people own these or they rent them during the race events. I talked to one American guy that was here at Souped Up and he said that he used to own one of these garages when he raced here a lot. And he actually helped open the track up. So, like this, this one seems like somebody owns it. Yeah, it's like empty over here. Like every time I've been here before, this whole area is just full of cars by now. But there's like no one on that side of the track. I'll have to go look in a while and see if there's even the food vendors here. Maybe since it's European cars, it's not as popular like the Isuzu D-Maxes and all the diesel trucks because more people, I think, have the diesel trucks since they use them for work and stuff. So it's more relatable, maybe. I don't know. And I don't know how to find out. Because my tie isn't good enough yet. <laughs> much to see at that end of the track so we're gonna go over there and see what things are like up in the stands at the starting line <laughs> I like this purple color on this BMW. It looks super cool. That was a 15.17, but I think they do elapse time, so it's whenever the light goes out, and it's not when they cross the light. Now we're gonna head to the stands. Enough walking around for a minute. The sun's setting, so I'll just go take a break. Check these out. Here's a Brabus 280E. I don't know if it's a real one or not. I don't really know anything about these cars. It looks cool. This Mercedes looks pretty awesome. It's got a crazy body kit on it. Pretty wide wheels and fender flares. Holy shit, that speaker's loud. Well, let's take a look at this Golf. The hood's up, so that's not a good sign. See some oil down there. Is it a diesel? It seems like it's probably a diesel, but I can't really see what the camera just saw. I like the wheels, those look nice. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Two 
104 PT. kilometers an hour, 14.066. did a 12.5 that's pretty good for elapsed time sounded awesome too I finally found the Volvo this thing's pretty cool it's been going down the strip quite a bit it's pretty nice 740 sweet oh check out the massive turbo on this BMW oh it's got a Jay-Z swap that's awesome. I was wondering what was in this thing. That's oh, a nice boxer. I like these cars. 718 Boxster T. Here's that awesome TT. It's got the hood pop. It's got a TFSI. Oh, it's the five-cylinder. That's why it sounds so awesome. Look at this awesome E30. It's got a big wide-body kit on it. Big dished wheels. I like the little spoiler going on. This is super cool. Hey, we've got another Volvo. Whoa, these are some crazy wheels on this. That's awesome. It's got a Brembo big brake kit. This thing is sweet. Volvo V60 wagon. Awesome. Alright, I'm starting to get a bit hungry. So let's go over to the food area over here and see what they got. Here's the food vendor area. There's a lot less than at the other events that I've been to that have been a lot more crowded, but we still have some good stuff. Get some fried chicken things, I think, over here. I think you get some drinks. It's like French fries and stuff. There's usually some like dessert vendors over here. This guy's got all the drinks. There's usually a lady up here. Oh, she's up there making some drinks. I'm probably gonna get some food from this guy in a minute. We got fresh fruit, juice, some soup thing. I don't know what those are. It's like a little general store. And we got soup and stuff over here and then like meat on a stick. It's all pretty good stuff. Super cheap too. Like, this guy's 50 baht for two toppings and rice. Check it out. I got some Pad Grappau Mu and some, like, grilled chicken, I think, and an egg for 60 baht. So, under $2. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happened to this car. So, so the exhaust broke right there at the collector. And his bumper is over here. So that's where the exhaust is supposed to come out. And now it doesn't. Finally caught this thing with the hood open. Check it out. It's got a twin turbo UZ engine. It's got a big intercooler. This thing is red.
หอไปดีไปดีโอ้ยสับสามสับสามเดินดีผ่าน200เมตรไปแล้ว